What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to what may likely be the last Vintage Cube draft. The event la yesterday it said join the league before in like a league ends in like 23 hours, and that would have been 3 p.m. today, but now it says it ends in about an hour and 15 minutes, which is about 11 a.m. So four hour difference. We were going to be doing three cube drafts today. Instead, there is time for one. I think we're just going to take Volcanic Island here. Not much going on. Yeah, I'll take a Volcanic Island. That's a nice safey boy. Same thing with Watery Grave. None of these cards are super fantastic. Rakdos Signet's decent. But I think I'd just rather have the fixing. <clears throat> uh, it always ends entry at 11 and then you have an end your matches by 3 p.m. I, I just never, I've never been awake for that to be relevant for me. Like when it says it ends on a Wednesday, <clears throat> I'm like, okay, well, I, I start streaming at like 2 p.m. So it doesn't matter what time. Like, that's fine. I'm like, okay, cool. That's fine. I'm going to take Creeping Tarpet. I'm just going to go with lands here. See what we end up with here. Do you have a nice beverage for, I have, I mean, I have just my regular water beverage. Ooh, I like a Narset, but only because we want to pick up Leovolds and Time Twisters and Time Warps. I got my swig this morning. <laughs> Man, you Utahns and your and your and your fancy sodas. Unbelievable. I could also take Course of Portal. I do like a Course of Portal. Course of Portal wheeled yesterday. <coughs> I kinda like Narset. <coughs> It means when we get, when we ultimately get past Time Spiral or Time Twister, I have a much higher chance of taking it now. Oh, I I do like a Mole Drifter. Probably more than a ponder, to be quite honest. Diet Mountain Dew with lime, grapefruit juice, and light ice. Man, grapefruit juice is so tart. That's wild. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take Mall Drifter. I like our start here. I'm gonna put all the cards that are in the deck in the deck because I don't know why I put them in the sideboard. Good lord. Of all the diet sodas, Diet Mountain Dew is definitely up there for me. I haven't even had Mountain Dew Zero. That's a thing? Oh, wow. That sounds wild. I mean, I guess we're just taking Looter. I really... It's hard to see these cards. I don't know why all of a sudden there's no art. Oh, this is just another pack immediately. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck just happened? I mean, I guess we'll take Metamorph here. What? Why did they just lose all the? Why did? Why did like they lose all the art? <clears throat> this is super weird. I'm gonna open the client again. I'm gonna take Dark Slick Shores.
and hope that by <clears throat> after this pick is taken, I'm gonna I'm gonna slam the the login button. And now all the art's up. <laughs> okay. Okie dokie. <clears throat> That's so weird, dude. I guess we'll just take makeshift mannequin. I don't think Hazard's relevant. This pack is extremely unexciting. We don't have any red yet. We're just going to take a Miria's call. We could be Esper instead of Grixis. No, Shua Garner, I have not. Gosh. Get me that for Christmas? You want me to just go get tacos for you? I mean, for me, but for, for you, for Christmas? <clears throat> um, Bolus' Citadel is interesting. We haven't Bolus' Citadel yet this season. This, I don't want to say season, because that's a weird term for it, but this iteration of the cube. Because the cube's coming back in like two weeks or so, three weeks, something like that. Eh, Tassigers. Oh, let's take Rakdos Return, actually. <clears throat> I like a Rakdos Return. Ooh, Fatal Push. And the packs with no art. Okay, seems good. Oh, good. More no art packs. <sighs> Worm Coil Engine, I guess, is probably the most exciting card in this pack. Impulse is fine. Okay, we have a million seconds. So I'm just going to log in on a different account. Or on a different... Uh, in a different instance of the client and see if the art pops up. And it does not. This is a shitty experience. Like, this experience is just actually terrible. And I don't... Oh, look, now the art just popped. Oh my god, this is unreal. Unreal bad. Yeah, it's probably just Worm Coil here. Sure. Oh, Consecrated Sphinx. I guess they're just giving me all the six drops. <clears throat> Could take Azoria's Signet, too. All of these belong over here. Selfless Spirit, Oblivion Stone. This deck size could also be larger. I mean, I do feel like it's Consecrated Sphinx. <laughs> um, there's the Time Spiral we're looking for with this Narset. I'm going to take it. <clears throat> oh, yes. That's what we're talking about. Okay, now we're Leovolding as well. You can get out of here. Blooming Marsh? Deal. Oh, man. No, it's it's very unlikely that anything I did to my, to my computer is going to have anything to do with the art.
God. It's really obnoxious. And there's no button <clears throat> to pop out the cards anymore. Like, there used to be a button you could press and it would pop out the fucking cards, but now you can't even do that. I'm taking Emrakul. <laughs> I don't think there's anything really... With a... <sighs> This is so stupid, dude. <sighs> I like Euro. I also like Hero's Downfall. I think Euro is probably a little better. We're also not heavily black here either. And I'm just going to take the Euro. Stone Coil Serpent, I guess. What if I go to like, all the way over to Collection, and then I go Display, Show Preview Pane, and then I bring this back. Yeah, okay. This is just terrible. Like... Just trash. Just absolute trash. What a way to go. <clears throat> uh, could we just Toxic Deluge here? Toxic Deluge can get us out of some jams. None of these are any good. <clears throat> Just take nature's claim, I guess. I was hoping the overgrown tomb came back. I'm pretty sure this is the first time the art bug has happened in my experience in this cube so far, so... Also, I have no idea what that ding is for. <laughs> it signifies nothing. I guess we'll just take Green Sun. It can hit Euro or Leovold, which is not terrible. It's the sound of the art breaking. You know what? <laughs> it's not the worst suggestion. Actually, Bloodbraid Elf seems great in this deck. We can hit Ophiomancer, Euro, Leovold, or Narset. I mean, we can obviously hit these two as well, but we're not we're not talking about that. Sure. Mox Diamond. Well, that's the that's the power you want to see in the very last day of the cube. Well. Definitely taking treachery here. I like the cards we have in our deck right now. I do like a time warp. Is that better than Shelly? Is that better than Bayou? No, I think we gotta take the Bayou here. Yeah, I just want our mana to be good, and Bayou is one of the best. Kid on Arch, Spooderman, episode one, he was glued to that's amazing. Oh my god, that's so fun. That's so funny to hear. Love it. Absolutely love it. Look at Crater Hoof again, because everyone passes Crater Hoof. Do we have any way to exploit this Emrakul that's just sitting in our sideboard? Not really, right? Like a channel <laughs> would be what we're hoping for here. 
I think we just take control magic. Ancestral Vision's great, but it sure takes a while. It's probably still pretty good, though, right? Yeah, let's take the Ancestral Vision. What the hell? Oh, a Tropical Island? Oh, that's gorgeous. Does paying a fair 15 mana count as exploiting? You know, I don't think so. I don't think so. That being said... Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Oh, good. Oh, good. How nice. I think we're just taking Jace here. I love Thief of Sanity, but I don't really want another 3-drop here, and I'd much rather have um, a, a cheaper card. Oh, God, this is so obnoxious. Like, I'm just a visual person, so being able to see the art, like, having to read every single card is so easy for me to miss something. And this pack is not very great to begin with, but... Yeah, it's it's definitely it's super irritating. Like I don't even know. I mean, I'm take show and tell because we have Emrakul. So, oh my god. Let's take him to Torok. Him is just great. Thassa's Orc, Repeal, Yawgmoth's Well, Batterskull is kind of cool, but we don't have... I just think Batterskull is almost not playable if you don't have, like... Don't Forge Mystic. I think Repeal is probably fine. Unexciting, but fine. Yeah. And the art has come back. It's super weird. We have t High Tide, but no real way to pay off. In a game that's so visually driven, you can literally play the game in a language you don't speak because of card art. It's I agree with you. Like, I don't even have to read any of the cards. I don't have to read cards or text in this pack. All I can do is look at the art. Oh, Sheldock Isle came back? That's kind of fascinating. I mean, I think we just play Emrakul Show and Tell here, to be honest with you. It's pretty bad, though. Crater Hoof tabled. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I'm just going to take Cultivate. That's insane. Wow, Nissa and Casualties of War? Jeez, that's pretty good. And not Nissa, Frailies, rather. I'm sorry, I got my female Planeswalkers confused we have like no ramp like this deck is actually terrible Baron we actually streamed after the downtime yesterday so that seems impossible Last pick, High Tide. Well.
I don't think we're splashing. Well, we could actually play Bloodbraid Elf. We have Cultivate and Volcanic. So we'd have Cultivate, Mountain, and Volcanic as three red sources. That doesn't seem good enough, though. Mm. Green Sun also does not seem good enough with two green creatures. Could Bolus a Citadel and play it off of uh, Show and Tell as well. Oh, we could just play... No, we're not playing red. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's... I think it's probably... I think it's probably Damnation over Deluge. Maybe. Uh, Deluge lets us keep certain things alive. And it definitely lets us kill things like Emrakul. I mean, if it puts us to five. But nevertheless, like... Our mana base at least looks good. Alright, so we got one, two, three green here. So this is, wow, the lands aren't even fucking working. Quality. Uh, we couldn't attack all yesterday. Thank you. Joey Jojo, welcome back, my dude. Thank you for the resub, my man. Really appreciate it. All right, so this is six green, which is probably fine. Black, we have one, two, three, four, five, seven. And then blue, we have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Three, four, five, six, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to cut one of these and add another black. I am an English major, correct? Oh, but now they work. I, I, I don't understand. I don't understand this, this program. <laughs> Let's see if we can uh, win a game. Not our best. Oh boy. You know what? Sure. Not our best for a, uh, a final cube, but you know what? We went out the way we wanted to with Leovold and Time Spiral and Narset in our deck, so. Actually, I think I'd rather have. No, I think makeshift's gonna be better here. Like, if they kill our Jace, we can just makeshift it back and then flip it. That's kind of cool. Don't push me, bro.
Don't heartless act me, bro. Ooh, that's a... I think we're setting ourselves up for a decent mid-game here. We've got Ancestral. Got a Jace going. Our hand is... Oh, that's just sad. Yep. Sounds good. Hmm. I think it's Swamp. We can cast everything right now. Interesting. Cool. Oh. Interesting. Well, that doesn't kill us. Well, actually it might. It's not great for us. Yep, that's pretty bad. Okay, so we can metamorph and copy it, then they make us sack it, so that doesn't do anything. We can't target it with anything. Well, that's unfortunate. Yep, cool. <laughs> yeah, good times. I don't think this hand is very good. Okay. Do we put Emrakul back? Let's put Makeshift Mannequin back. I don't even like Makeshift Mannequin in this deck. We might take it out. There's got to be something better. I mean, the problem is if we if we show and tell and they have Ulamog in their hand and we put Emrakul in, they're going to get to attack first. Which is less than ideal. We do have two green for the Frailies, though, which is kind of nice. Fucking three mana planeswalker dot deck over here. Three lands. Fascinating. Let's get an island and a swamp. Put the island into play, play the swamp, keep up fatal push. Jace, Looter, and Island. Okay. Wow, they discarded two Eldrazi's. And I... Yeah, and it caused... Yeah, alright. Weird. So we're just going to go green. 
green. Play Euro. Oh. I mean, they just shuffled in Ashen Rider, Kozilek, and Ulamog, right? The odds of them having... Sure, let's see what happens. I mean, I guess we can block it? Oh, if they have Liliana, it's terrible for us, right? And then we just die, so... I'm gonna assume they have Liliana in their seven cards. Seven out of... 30. Ready? And not Liliana. They could tap our guy. No, they can't. They can't do that. Well, this is intense. Seems like a very Okay, they just activated Ashiok. Sure. I think they're just digging here, guys. We can also attack with Emrakul and Deluge for 11. To get rid of their Blight Seal. Liliana's Triumph. Collective Brutality. Okay, sure. What becomes a 4-4 four, four after blocks? Oh, ours would, yeah, if they if they attacked with Blight Seal. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is awkward because, like, if we play Warm Coil, they can steal it with Dak. And they could always Ashiok Phyrexian Metamorph and put it into play. So it's kind of really awkward that they had Blightsteel in hand. Yeah, we could repeal Ashiok and then also attack Dak. And then play Ophiomancer. And Ophiomancer gives us three power against the Blight Steel. Oh, I guess we should have just attacked their face, right? Because then they had to sack deck anyway. I don't think it's going to matter because next turn Annihilator should really take care of them, but... Uh, Leobold seems good here. So as long as I don't have a one-mana way to get rid of Ophiomancer. 
we're good. Okay, they could dismember it, and then we're gonna really regret our decision of not So this puts us at nine poison. Sure. Man, them still playing here is pretty wild. Uh, we cannot kill the blight steel. It has indestructible. Oh, we're just gonna. Wow, they didn't even let me play a thing. Okay, well, this is a real interesting match. Makeshift seems terrible in our deck. I don't know. I, I don't like that it's in here. They have a lot of three mana planeswalkers, which are kind of obnoxious. I kind of like Bloodbraid Elf, to be honest. I like Bloodbraid and Rakdos's return in here. Cut a blue for a volcanic. Cut a black for a mountain. Treachery seems OP. I don't think there's a single target for Fatal Push. Yeah, Oakstone's a little too slow. Plus, they could just steal it with Dak, so it's pretty bad. Yeah, I mean, Bloodbird Elf's obviously bad if it hits three cards, but we still have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... Like, nine cards. Yeah. Well, it's not going to hit Visions. I mean, what happens if you do hit Visions, actually? Pretty sure you just get to cast it. Which is pretty sweet. Oof. Let's put treachery under there. So if we if we if we activate this guy, we're just gonna lose a. We're just gonna have to discard something. I just found the battery remote cover that's been lost for two years. That's a feeling right there. That's a big mood right there. Wow, this is so bad. Double blue. We need a red. Double green. Everything else is real expensive. I think we're going to Mull Drifter here. Do we discard Emrakul? I don't think so. We can play Fraley's next turn, which is pretty nice. Or Blood Raid Elf. I mean, Emrakul's just... I think it's just good enough to keep with Show and Tell, even though they have a bunch of fat idiots as well. I think we can try to engineer a situation where it works. <laughs> Reanimate our Muldrifter. Sure. So we can repeal the Muldrifter now. That's That's pretty good. You can also deluge for two, which seems real nice. Um, I 
I mean, what are the odds we hit a land off of Deluge? Or off of Euro, rather. Yeah, it just didn't seem worth it. I am concerned with the deck fading, just stealing Worm Coil Engine. Oh, actually, hold up. What if we discard in such a way where we don't shuffle our graveyard in and we can actually play a Euro next turn if we draw? Keep, like, Fraley's and Emrakul in hand? Does that seem good? I don't even know. Getting rid of our whole graveyard seems bad. Two, three, four. Sure. Blood Braid, Maul Drifter, Worm Coil, and Toxic Deluge. And I guess Narset. Now let's get rid of Repeal. This was Gashiok or Dak. Oh my goodness, God. I was hoping you didn't have it. <laughs> oh man, next level Eldrazi plays. Show and tell is a trap, guys. Never forget. <laughs> we win the match. Oh wow. Oh wow. That's wild. That's phenomenal. Even if we lose the next two games, I'm still going to be satisfied with that beautiful outcome.
That's insane. What was the other card we cut? Oh, we cut Fatal Push last time, but... I think I just want to play the Bloodbraid Elf here. I mean, we're only we only have uh, stone stone coil and repeal that are going to be really really bad for us. Here's flopping down. Oh my god, dude! They show and tell him he gets to put Emrakul into play. How's why people people keep asking how the PS5 is intruding me if it's worth it? Yeah, it's a fantastic system. I mean, I just think it's an amazing piece of hardware, and I thought that I, I feel like that's pretty pretty well known, right? Like it's not like a, it's not getting mixed reviews anywhere, so I don't know. Yeah, it's great. It's fantastic. I'm looking forward to tons and tons of exclusive games. Though I will be playing Cyberpunk on PC and not console because that is a PC game for me as far as I'm concerned. Oh, the league ends. Okay, yeah, so the entry, you can still enter, you just can't. Got it. Uh, did you play Witcher on the PC? I, I've never played a, a, like a first-person RPG on a console. Not Fallout, not Skyrim, not Witcher. Mm, don't like that. Yeah, okay. That seems fine. Let's get rid of... Let's actually get rid of Bloodbraid here. Keep ship you. Emrakul one time. Eh, Euro's fine. It's a lot of good lands, though. On the throne? What is that? What does that even mean? I mean, how would I play? <laughs> how would I play a, P a PlayStation game on the throne anyway? No, I mean I know what it means, but I just didn't understand the context because, like, okay, sure, on Switch, got it. <laughs> like, it's literally. I, I don't, is Witcher even available on Switch? Interesting. I didn't even know that. Interesting. Three frames a second. Wow, that's pretty good. Chugging along there. We did win that first match, and I'm actually I'm, I'm surprised you missed it. Cool. I mean, they missed the land drop too, interestingly enough. So, what? They missed two land drops. Oh, I see. I understand now. Please give me a land. <laughs> really needed to cast Leovold before they Gristle Brand, I guess, but. Yep. Cool. Heaven forbid I drew a fucking second land, a third land. Oh look, it turned too late. Oh, I can't even cast it off that. That's actually hilarious. Wow. It <laughs> oh, goody, 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 goody. We'll get a this and a this. We'll put this in play. Sure. Yep. so funny the difference one one land makes in a game like this mm 
<laughs> oh, it's time already. I did not realize. So one, two, three, four. Draw now or forever hold your... Interesting. They're probably like, well, I'll just kill you with a regular Gristle Brand. I don't need to like... Draw cards with Crystal Brand. Yeah, the Vintage Cube is up until 4 p.m., so... Just hard-casting weirdos here today. Deluge for seven would be great. <laughs> but as you can imagine, that might not be the best strategy. So if we play Wormcoil, they just attack with Gristlebrand and we're dead. If we play Sphinx... That's pretty hilarious. See, I don't like this because it shows them Deluge, right? Like, I mean... If I had, like, if I had like two more mana, that'd be great, because then we can actually go uh, Evoke Mole Drifter to turn on Sheldock. Sheldock for Euro go to 9, and then Deluge for 7. And we're also at 21 cards, which is pretty hilarious. If we literally had 20 cards, we could actually shell dock for Euro. Wait. Well, we get to put one more land into play. Ugh, that's frustrating. We're literally one mana away from being able to do this. That's uh, it's criminally hilarious, actually. Guy doesn't do anything right. One mana, dude. <sighs> Ophidomancer. We're at nine. We can take a hit here, block here, take two, seven, eight, nine. Yep. Wow. Yeah, it's amazing what one missed land drop actually does. We could have went to two, killed their whole board. Yeah. <sighs> Damnation's also a card I'd rather not hit off Bloodbraid Elf. Toxic Deluge is rather, so I think having Damnation instead is just fine. Yeah, I mean, I don't think just casting Muldrifter to Shump is the best strategy. I mean, it's definitely an option, but it's a 2-2, and... I mean, they're also making multiple dudes with Grave Titan, and... Uh, 
we have no board. Like, we untap with no board. They have a 6-6, six, six, a 7-7, seven, seven, and three two twos, And it's just like, I mean, we're just humoring ourselves at that point. I don't know what you threw means. Uh, we did gain life with Euro. We don't have enough mana to deluge for seven. No, we, we could not have done that. That's what we were trying to do. That was literally the whole point. I mean, conceding was better for me because personally, I think my time is more valuable than trying to like eke out a game where I have literally 1% chance of winning. So my time is more valuable than that. So... I mean, it's it's weird that you're trying to impose the fact that like your values of like winning at any cost, every single every single chance, and putting every single percentage point into a game is worth more to you. That's fine, but like I I, I didn't see the the um the light at the end of that tunnel. And if you're like gonna leave a stream because like someone disagrees with you about a play, like. Okay, see you later. It's a good card. It's uh it's another one. Got it. Fascinating. I have three cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have seven mana next turn. I think we're just pitching show and tell. Oh, I agree, show and tell is a trap. You don't gotta tell me twice, my dude. Okay. I have a feeling there's gonna be a loot reanimate coming here. Bazaar and Swamp. Interesting. Boy, Worm Crawl is not great when we hit when they got the deck over here. Um I want a second swamp. Blue, blue, blue. Green, green. Okay. 
Well. Seems good. I'm going to assume worm coil and repeal it. Or uh, <laughs> reanimate then. I'm like, maybe we can repeal it if they do that. Yep, there's step one. Like, there's no way you get rid of that if you have a DAC in play if you don't plan to bring it back, so... Oh, interesting. <laughs> I kind of like Jace here. Hmm. They have two cards. We kind of want to bounce. I kind of want to bounce Dak here, to be quite honest. So four. Let's get rid of Island. Oof. Big oof. I mean, if we can hit Bloodbraid Elf off the top, that'd be kind of sick against the deck. Then we can just kill him. Yep. Okay. Time Twister and Mountain. And then nothing else. Fascinating. play something in response swift end sure thirst and confluence I mean getting murderous rider out of the hand is actually pretty good like now that Jace lives and um, you know if we draw like Leo Ugh, fuck come on dude wow Top Deck City. Wow. Well, that's two lands I don't draw now. I guess we can actually Time Spiral. One, two, three. Oh, we're definitely just discarding Euro and casting it, right? Blue, blue, green, green. Island, repeal. Oh, actually, repeal is useful in the graveyard. Looter, creeping, dark slick, and forest. No. 
They have no cards. Yep, okay. Almost plus chase. That seems good. We can also go Narset Ophiomancer and then eventually Time Spiral with Narset out. Does this go off this turn? Because that would be pretty nuts. Oh, it do. Yeah. Um, actually, we might want to use that. They have one card in hand. Let's hit Dakarino. I mean, I can ultimate deck, but that doesn't seem... Then they have to have a way to target our permanents, like, without killing them. It seems unlikely with only two cards in their hand, but then again, stranger things have happened. Okay, well, there you go. There you go. Okay. Don't really care about that. Seems correct. They have no cards in hand. I guess they can flashback Thirst or something. But, I mean, we have Narset, so any kind of card draw doesn't work. Thoughtseize is fine if you want to take Damnation. You can't fire a Confluence because you only have one red. They're just going to cast Lightning Bolt. Okay, well, this is kind of fine, I guess. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, Lord. I mean, we still have Damnation. We can actually Damnation and then kill everything. Yeah, we definitely just attack Jace, Damnation, and then recast Euro. It seems okay. Could also Damnation and then play Frailies to get... Actually, hold on. Is there a way to... No way to kill this guy, right, without Damnationing? Sure, so we're going to just Damnation. Three, four, and then we have blue, blue, green, green. I 
And we get our treachery back, which is kind of nice. I mean, we could actually just frailies and kill like their one of their signets. I don't hate that, but I think I, I think playing euros just got to be better, right? One, two, three, four. Let's get rid of Ophiomancer, Damnation, Jace, Ancestral, and Cultivate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mana. I'm not there yet. Would a high tide do it? Tap this, we get one, two, three, four, five, six. Take them off for a second, red. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven mana. I mean, we still have treachery, so. I w now I'm wishing I didn't play my. Tap my second red there, but. That's sizable. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, <laughs> well, it's a game, all right. I was really surprised at how Dak was doing work there. Stole Planeswalker, stole Euro twice. Kind of funny. Is Green Sun good? It just gets Euro and Leovold. Can't even get Bloodbraid to any strong effect. I kind of like Rakdos to return here. Feels better than Repeal almost. I mean, this deck really wants a signal, I think. Yeah, this seems good. It's a solid, solid opening here. Well, your boy is, your boy is here. Ooh, Blooming Marsh was a good draw there. Now we got that Fatal Push-Up. 
They're just gonna go deck, though. They're gonna go blue la Oh, no blue lands. Oh, no. Don't like that. Come on, Black Source. Swamp, 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 swamp. That's not a swamp. Would have been good if it was a swamp. It was not a swamp, though. Do, 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 do. Well, that's unfortunate. Hmm. If we can draw a red source, that'd be good. Okay. All the things are happening now. So next time we can actually Muldrifter and then kill Rotting Regisaur. So that's good. I like that. Hmm. Oh, that's really good. Um Yeah, okay. Just play Dark Slick Shores here. Stone Cold cannot be stolen by deck, that is correct, and it's very, very good. Hey man, you ever try catching a snake? Also, with Stone Cold in our hand, the only bad hit for this is kind of like Repeal. Not Repeal, um, Rakdos' Return. What if we could show and tell? We just put Emrakul into play. Do we think they'll have an answer for that? They discarded Kite Sail and Duress. We get to go to like nine cards. Well, I found the show and tell. Two, three, four. Oh, wow, we can actually keep him up. Thunder Maw and Shriek Maw. Two Maws. Now, I'm actually going to play Blood Braid first because I want to be able to start pressuring the deck. Because the last thing I want is them to loot into an answer for Emrakul. Did they actually cast a rest? Oh, they discarded Kite Sail and Murderous Rider. Oh, we just had these two in hand, so we had no hits? Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, I, I actually... Sure, that's fine. They have one card in hand. One, two, three. So we can, go, we can make a four, four and also put an Emerald. Oh, we can actually, one, two, three, four. We can play Euro. Blue, blue, green, green, blue. Yeah, we can actually play Euro and Emrakul this turn. That seems good, right? One, two, three, and then we have green, green. All right, you got one card. Let's see what it is. Oh, there was nothing. One, two, three, four. Euro. Let's get rid of show and tell, looter, fatal, blood braid, and ancestral. 
and then we'll put a watery grave into play. They have one card, they get access to four total cards, which is pretty good. But the answers for Emrakul have to be low. Oh my god, we got a good game? Wait, not, but then they still looted afterwards. <gasps> oh, wow. Are we 2-0? Nineteen power. Do you mean twenty-one power? Well, this hand's... It's a little rough, let's be honest. We got Emrakul, Consecrated, and Worm Coil. The two land, the two lands are so good that I'm almost like, maybe I'll just keep it because of these two lands. Ah, this hand's good. I'm going to put Deluge back. I think Treachery has a higher upside and the odds of us using it... I think the odds of us needing a Deluge in a specific situation is lower. Brand, how nice. Oh boy. Seems good. Wow, went to five immediately. You're at three now. Wow. Yeah, this is three reanimator decks in a row. I think the Narset. That's weird, because you could just kill Narset. Well, they do go to 10 here, so that's pretty good. I think we're just dead. Push kills Gristlebrand somehow, right? It does. Man, where's that Deluge now? Deluge for seven? That would have been good. Probably better than Treachery, but I think I thought this game might go longer than two turns. I mean, they have access to, like, 20, 14 cards here, so I don't really imagine this is going to work very well. Yeah, okay. I'm just going to concede. Well, 
let's bring damnation in here. Take out repeal. Uh, yeah, this hand looks good. I mean, we just need a second black for this hymn, but otherwise we have lots of colors, lots of things to do. So. Well, they went to five. They're just mulliganing until they hit Entomb Gristlebrand, right? Or Entomb Reanimate, rather. Fascinating. Second black would have been great there. Oh, I do not think you can jump into a draft, no. I think it ended at 11, and I think the actual matches have to be played by 4 p.m. Alright, well, we do get to Bloodbraid Elf here. And they have an Emrakul and a Gristlebrand, and we, next turn we do have Treachery up. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking amazing, dude. Fucking amazing. What are the odds? We have Leovold, we have Narset, we have Cultivate, Looter, Jace... Seems good. You know damn well the odds are 100%. Ophiomancer. Yeah, like we had so many different cards, man. Like, it's so funny. Pure comedy that the, uh, that's the, that's the thing we hit. Well, we're gonna play this because next turn we do get to play him to Torok. They have three cards we have. Oh, they're just gonna kill this guy. Murder Shrider? Sure. Treasure Cruise, exiling all but your big fat boys. I think we're just playing that.
Okay, they go to seven. Do they also play Murderous Rider? No, they don't. Fascinating. Well, they can't draw cards here, which is pretty nice. Okay, so now they have no cards in hand. Got it. Iona. That's got to be game, right? I get to draw seven and then tap five. One, two, three, four, five. Wasn't actually sure if I played a land this turn. Cornelish, thank you so much for saying so, man. Really appreciate it. So they have no cards in hand? Hmm. See, look, storm count is three right now. We went over this yesterday. I have no storm cards. Neither does my opponent because they have zero cards. So, like... I don't actually know when the storm count comes up. I really don't. Hmm. It's gotta be just Fraley's. Fraley's just seems like the best option here. She's just a planeswalker and makes a thing. Yeah, it can't be there when there's a storm card in hand because that gives away information to your opponent. Like, it literally says, oh, you have a storm card. Like, it narrows it down to, like, having one of three cards in hand. And, like, that's just not good strategically for Magic the Gathering to do. You got it. Take your look and then let's go to the next game. I mean, the only thing we saw was, like, reanimate. Like, that's literally the only card we saw. In terms of, like, bringing guys back. I think Fatal Push is probably bad. Let's bring a Rakdos Return. Again, like, we could hit it off Blood Braid, sure, but, like, I think the odds are still low. I think the sand's actually fine. Looter and Cultivate make it okay. We can get a second blue and a black, or a two black, depending on what we need. Yeah, like, maybe it's there for their Storm cards in the 75, but I don't have a Storm card in my 75, and I don't think they do either. I can't imagine what Storm card they would have. Oh, well, no, that's not my 7... Um, okay, but, like, that's in my... Sure, it's in my sideboard. Interesting. Okay, yeah. It's in the sideboard, yeah. But then that's not, like, part of the 75. That's just part of, like, the 87... 49 cards that, you know... Yeah, I feel like this is the perfect draw for them. Of course, we take Fatal Push out once we get uh, Rotting Reanimator, Rotting Regisword. Let me guess. Iona? Corpse Dance. So you don't have Gristlebrand, Iona, um, Alesh Norn, Chupacabra. It's aggressive. Well, <laughs> definitely needed a green there. I guess the second, a, a black next turn would also be nice. Otherwise, we're probably just dead. We're taking nine this turn and going to four. So, well, this is an anticlimactic ending to our match.
Interesting. Come on, Black Source. Oh, we're alive, boys. <laughs> oh my god, it was like the most perfect thing we could draw there. All right. It's 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 much more climactic now. They're just running out a murderous rider. Wow. Wowie wow, wowie wowoo. Oh my god. I'm tempted to just play Euro if we hit it another land. I mean, this puts us to seven, which gives us some time. So we're going to take two, but next turn we get to play Worm Coil. Which is pretty good against a Regisaur if they happen to reanimate it. Oh, wow. This is actually pretty good. I don't even know what's happening right now. I actually kind of like Leovold Cultivate here instead. Um, But we don't have to do that right now. Wow. How did we end up... The Damnation being Clutch... Oh god, they just passed the whole turn. Oh, we got a game, boys. Unless they kill it right now. They did not. So we only have two blue, unfortunately. So we can't go... Oh, we can cultivate, I guess. We can go one, two, three. Cultivate. Get another blue. And probably another green. Uh, put the blue in play. Play the blue. Just go black, blue, blue. Leovoldo. Graveyard's looking full, boys. Yeah, they also wasted their reanimate on the... The looter? Why not just save it in case one of your guys dies? That was really short-sighted. One, two, three. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. So we could actually Narset and potentially hit... Um, time Spiral here? Rakdos' return also seems fine. I mean... Might as well do it for the full value, right? Why didn't they play the islands? I mean, even like Iona for, even like reanimating Iona doesn't do much. We have Worm Coil. So they're just dead on board, right? Sure. This was anticlimactic. You're you're right. You're right. Yeah, you know what? I'll risk it for the biscuit. I have a feeling it's like makeshift mannequin I uh Oh hero's downfall? Yeah, that's fine. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. 
five. So we have ten mana. Are we going to trophy our very last league? I'll just take them off as much as many resources as possible. So they're just dead on board unless they find like their own damnation, which seems like it'd be a wow 3 0 with this deck I didn't think was going to win a game. <sighs> That's wild, dude. And we get Falthus Shadowcat Familiar. And a Phoenix and 10 play points. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate the support. Be sure to check out ManaTraders.com. Wait, can we join another one? Entry closes in 23 hours. We might be still Cuban, boys. Thank you guys for hanging out. I appreciate y'all. I'll see you next time.